hello so now I want to comment game 4 please confirm that you can hear and see me but at the moment I see only one spectator Окей. Супер партія? Можливо, супер партія. Будемо розбиратися. Окей. Соу. Сіфо стартит Дін Блірен. Найт Ф6, Найт Сі3, Е5, Е3. Not the most popular line in this positions. G3 is the most popular. Кейзера. Also A3. This idea if e4, knight, g5, queen, e7, d3 takes uh, e4 now is the best move according to c3. Idea that uh, white want to take on d3 not with queen but with bishop and prepare castle. If h6, knight f3, and if now black is taking, knight takes e4, knight d5 is extremely unpleasant. So this is point of strategy. At the moment white is e4, Okay, so firstly I will explain this. So knight d5, if queen c5, bishop e3 is coming, and black has problem with uh, pawn c7. If uh, queen d8, bishop takes d3 and then castle, and uh, black has a big problem with development of pieces. So initiative is more than sufficient for the pawn. Okay, after a3, of course, black has other moves, like g6 is possible, for example. Okay, so e3, now again, black has choice. Bishop b4 played me pawn, me sheet. This is the most popular move, so bishop e7 is possible as well. For example, Karpo played bishop e7 against Jan Timon, and after d4, e takes d4, knight takes d4, castle, bishop e2, d5, black is totally okay. Important thing that after c takes d5, black is not taken, because here white has better pawn structure and chances for advantage, but uh, very important that black has knight b4, so they want to take pawn with knight and white cannot defend this pawn because after e4 this is mistake black can take and take on d5 and both knights are attacked and white is losing material for example if knight c3 queen takes d4 queen takes d4 knight c2 check and then knight takes d4 Black is spawned up and, and they are better, of course. But uh, according to modern theory, after bishop e7, the best plan for white is a3, castle, queen c2. And if uh, d5, white just taking and playing bishop c4. And then b4 is coming. And this kind of position is quite good for white. So bishop before, ah, uh, was questioned about e4. Yes, there is uh, e4, knight g5, c6. It's interesting line. I know that uh, uh, Pragananda played against Aronian, but okay, uh, I am not sure that uh, Nepo will play this because uh, 
Okay, so I'm twitching sometimes. Also, there are my videos on my YouTube channel if somebody are interested. It's possible to see them, possible to follow them, possible to write comments, write uh, wishes. So this is uh, original idea, H5. Now I don't remember what exactly played Prague Ananda. It's not so obvious that Black has uh, enough compensation for the pawn. But okay, so if somebody is interested, it's possible to analyze seriously. Aronian against Praganada. One day we can do it if uh, it's uh, important for somebody. Also, there is line uh, B5 here, but uh, okay, B5 it's quite dubious because White can just play D3. That's the strongest move. And after e takes d3, c takes b5, and this position is, is better for white. Because of development, because pawn on b5 is strong. Okay, so let's come back. Bishop b4, queen c2, bishop takes c3. Okay, it's not necessary move. Of course, uh, before take on c3, uh, logical to wait a3. And it's totally possible. But uh, the problem uh, is that white has no obligation to play a3. For example, if uh, just castle, usually white is not playing a3 because after a3, Bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, rook e8, black is prepared for d5. And for example, if b4, d5, black is prepared for d4, and now black is better. But after castle, the main line is knight d5. And if rook e8, queen f5, this is the point of white strategy. And now knight g5 is very unpleasant threat. So after d6, knight takes f6. And game is slightly better for white. And uh, g takes f6, queen h5. Position is complicated, but it's promising for white as well. d5, now a3, something like this. Bishop f8, bishop d3. I remember something like this. So b4 is coming. Also possible d6, and uh, surprisingly, mm, modern chess programs uh, uh, claims that uh, here the best move for white is knight e2. Idea to play knight g3. Okay, of course, uh, other moves uh, are possible as well. But for example, if a3, black can take, and black has several things, even e4 is possible, if knight d4, knight e4. Of course, uh, here knight e2 less logical, because uh, black playing d7, d5, immediately without wasting of time. So knight e2. Okay, so queen takes c3, of course, it's the main, uh, the most popular line here. Many games, and usually black responded with queen e7, and now they are preparing for d5. Now, many moves are possible. For example, Fabiano Caruana played b3 after d5, c takes d5, knight takes d5, queen b2, quite original fianchetto of queen. Also possible a3, d5, d4, and also possible d4, which is very popular during last time. 
for example, if knight e4, queen d3, e takes d4, knight takes d4, queen takes d4 check, queen e2, it's okay for white. And of course, after d4, black can play d6 here, so in each move, uh, black has some choice. Okay, so queen takes c3, it's uh, main line, so uh, b takes c3, it's less popular line, but it's possible as well, so surely Jan Nepomniashchi was prepared to play queen takes c3 line if he chose this line with black, so b takes c3. Now, if e4, I think white want to play knight g5. Yes, okay, king e2 looks like risky, but uh, well, black has also some problem with their pieces. f3 is coming. So. Oh, you can see that already many games was played from this position. So if e4, knight g5, I think, is plan of white. And if queen e7, f3. This, this, and now white wants to prepare slowly d3 and e4, for example, castle, bishop e2, d6, castle, and if black will not do anything special, d3, e4 is coming, and... Mm, only because of engine analysis, why not d5 instead of queen e7? d5 is possible as well, but uh, I'm not sure that this is strong. Okay, I can play f3. So now if h6, I will take on d5. If e takes f3, knight takes f3, and after d5, it's bishop b2, and then probably I will consider c takes d5 and c4 plan, something like this. Okay, d5 is possible as well, I agree. Okay, maybe knight d4 is possible to consider, but I am not sure that this is stronger than knight g5, because knight g5 immediately attacking the pawn, knight d4, black has more choice castle is possible. Okay, so e4 is totally possible. Jan Nepomne, she played d6, and now if white plays, for example, d3, black can even consider this idea. So, pawn sacrifice, and then try to play b6, bishop a6, knight a5, something like this. It's quite typical idea also from Rossolimo line. Oh, for example, I can show you. After e3, I had recent game in Reykjavik. So one day I will show this. Unfortunately, I offer a draw in. Uh, quite interesting position and uh, I was disappointed after when my opponent accepted it. But well, it happens. It was my decision, my stupid decision. Which, uh, how I am today? More or less fine, thank you. But winning best games has good annotation. Yes, I agree. It's usually Annotation of Botvinnik Agut. Ah, uh, I wanted to show, explain uh, uh, idea of pawn sacrifice, so I mean this line. Bishop b5, g6, castle, bishop g7, knight c3, and now if d6, it's possible to play e5. If d takes e5, bishop takes c6, and rook e1, so more or less same idea. White want to take on e5, if f6, b3, and then bishop a3. 
Of course, black can uh, avoid this slide. So knight f6 is possible here. Also e5 is possible. Prepare knight g7, for example, d3, knight g7, and then castle is coming. But after d6, e5 is promising idea. As I remember, Alexander Morozevich was first to play this like this board. Okay, so okay, uh, I'm not sure that uh, to play e4 after d3 was exactly plan of Jan. Probably he wanted just castle and go on. It's not uh, necessary to give a pawn, so castle is totally possible. But it's just option. So e4, castle, bishop e2, natural moves. Also g3 is possible, but after g3, knight h5 is coming. Black is ready for f5. White can try to stop it with knight h4, but the question how strong it is. Black has many options here. speaking I don't know what I would play here with black for sure it must be some games okay knight h5 is not not only move but White plan is simple, bishop g2 and castle. g6, maybe. Yes, maybe g6 is a good idea. Not afraid, bishop h6. Bishop e2, bishop e2, knight g7, probably. Ah, bishop e2, knight f4, sorry. So bishop e2 is not a good idea. So, uh, knight f4, take, okay. No, 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 this is good for black because white has problem with his king, so. Knight e7, knight g6, yes, it's possible plan. But if here knight e7, bishop g2, knight g6, knight f5, it's quite has good position. So probably g6, if d3, f5, bishop h6, rook f7, takes, takes, something like this. It's complicated position, which is not, not so standard. But okay, surely there are some games after g3, but uh, I don't remember exactly how they played here. Knight e8 also possible. Okay, but bishop e2 was played in the game, so g3 is a reasonable alternative. It's totally possible that we will see G3 in the, in the match, okay, who knows. But Bishop E2 was played, so White uh, wants just develop pieces, Knight H5. Now if G3, probably F5 is quite good. And after Knight H4, Knight F4 again. This is good for black, because if knight f5, black at least take and queen f6. So d4, f5 is possible here as well. With sharp position.
but I think uh, till the moment uh, both are following of their preparations. So I have no idea, for example, what is the best here for why. But it looks like at least interesting position. For example, if uh, castle black just want to take, if queen takes e4, knight f6 is totally playable position. Queen h4 maybe is the best, I don't know. So f5 was a reasonable alternative, but knight f4 played Jan Nippon, Mischief bishop f4, e takes f4, castle. It was okay. You are asking about knight uh, g five and f three, but in that positions, uh, white has bishop on g two, so. It's, and uh, white king already castle it. I mean this position. And pawn on e2, so it's, it's totally different position. Okay, there, there are some similarity, but uh, too big difference. For example, one of modern variations is this, this knight e5, knight d4, d6. Karpo played knight d3 against Kasparov and he was wolves after queen e2 or queen c2. So d6, d3, c5, knight f5, bishop takes, rook takes, d5, c takes, d5, c4, d3, d4, knight d3 is uh, good compensation. Okay, this topic is interesting, so if possible I can prepare special material about E3 as well. But okay, so E3. Knight f four, so this position. What we can see, white has strong center, but it is difficult to claim that white is clearly better. Okay, knight f four. He played uh, knight h five to play knight f four. Of course, as I explained, that f five was reasonable alternative. So. I don't think that queen f6, okay, okay, queen f6 is also possible, I agree. Knight a5, okay, so we are not there, so we will go to uh, moment with knight a5. Okay, queen f6 or f5 are reasonable alternatives. I can agree with this. After castle, I don't know. E takes d4, probably dubious. Ah, maybe it's also okay. Because after white can just take and black back because after takes, takes, bishop takes h5 and bishop b2 and rook e1. So White wins, but okay, after castle, probably knight f4 is totally good with idea to take with queen. And uh, if, yes, if g3, bishop g4 is possible. Uh, maybe, ah, after g3, maybe black even can take on d4 because in the same line, 
white has no bishop b2 so black has time to go back with their uh, queen or if bishop b2 queen c5 knight is protected okay probably now also white has a strong compensation after e5 because knight is under attack If g6 only move, e takes d6, it looks unpleasant somehow to play with such uh, diagonal a1, h8. So this is probably a bad idea for black. But uh, uh, this variation is not forced. So for example, here bishop g4 looks like very, pro maybe immediately bishop g4, but uh, immediately g4, uh, knight h4. It's question what is this maybe even knight takes e5 is, po is possible i don't know okay knight takes e5 uh, frankly speaking it's bad idea because bishop takes e2 queen e2 d takes e5 and after queen takes h5 he takes d4 but a knight h4 looks like reasonable idea After bishop e4, queen takes e4, so white has good position. After e takes d4, also white can consider knight takes d4. It's probably not so dubious. Because knight is attacked if uh, black plays uh, queen e7, mm, queen g6. Uh, Knight b5 is covered, and then white is taken on c7. Also, situation is very far from clear. Black has bishop h3. If knight takes c7, rook c8, and then bishop g2 is coming. So, so uh, c takes d4, more natural. So, as I explained, that knight takes. Ah, maybe, uh, however, black has another idea, takes, takes, and after bishop b2, not to play uh, queen uh, c5, but play queen b6, maybe more precise. Because, ah, no, sorry, the queen c3 is possible. So queen b6 is not possible. Yes, after knight c7, maybe also immediately bishop g2 is, is possible. Вашого листа з привітаннями ні не отримав. Що сьогодні ви, коли ви послали листа? It was question about my letter. Hello, so. But okay, immediately bishop g2, rook g1. Bishop takes e4, bishop takes h5. And here probably. White wins some material. Also, even this, it's necessary to continue. For example, this, this. Rook c8. Idea is that white cannot play with knight because rook e8 is coming. But okay, bishop f4, rook takes c7, bishop takes d6 is possible. It looks like very promising for white. Dobre, ja перевірю. Ну, щось не пригадую вашого листа. Чи я не заходив в почту, може? Добре, я перевірю. Okay, but rook a c8, black can start, and bishop g2 is... Okay, d5 is uh, alternative, yes. But uh, g3 is also interesting. But uh, big question if g3 works tactically, probably white has some tactical problems. Because after c takes d4, bishop g4 is possible. It's 
bishop if knight takes d4 queen takes d4 so rook d1 looks like queen e5 but okay queen ah queen e5 is possible if f4 that's important if rook d5 queen e6 On although if knight f6 I can take and I can play rook h5 but unfortunately bishop is coming and then bishop takes f3 after but okay is it finish of variation I don't know rook g1 Ah, but now maybe just g6 is because bishop f3 my idea is to play rook f1 and I'm still not sure what is this so white wins a piece okay black has many pawns that's true but uh, they are losing the bishop the position is totally unclear for me Okay, maybe black is good, I don't know. g6, rook h3, queen a, uh, a1 check. Black has many pawns. 7 against 3. Not rook f1 if e5 is possible. If, ah, e5 is possible, yes, you are right. Okay, but after rook g1, black can start with g6. It looks like much more precise. And probably this is just bad for white. Because uh, rook is attacked and not so clear where rook will go. Я не знаю, хто переможе, я так... Мені здається, трохи кращі шанси все-таки в Яна не помню, що мені так здається, ну, але, звичайно, так сказати, з певністю, хто переможе, мені тяжко. It was question, what is my predictions? Okay, in my opinion, Jan has a little bit better chances, but okay, it's uh, it's fight and both can win. So, so probably they are right that d5 uh, is the best, but uh, g3 is logical. So positionally, g3 is better than e5, but uh, as we see, probably uh, tactically. White has uh, some problems. I mean, this, this. Okay, here also Queen takes G5 is totally possible. So this variation is not forcing at all. And so black has healthy pawn up because if h4 or f4, queen a5 is possible. So. But we can consider bishop, ah, sorry, the knight is hanging. He takes d4, knight g5. There is question. Let's see. Maybe possible, but uh, 
big question how good it is. Okay, black can just play h6. Let me see right here. If e5, queen f5 is coming. It looks like white is just pawn down without without compensation. So my g5 does. Oh, of course. Uh, uh, queen g6 also works, but h6 is a simple. Ah, h6, knight h7. What is this? Let me just take. e5, bishop f5, simply can't. Mm, it doesn't work. Okay, so probably knight takes d4 is uh, the best chance if uh, white plays g3. But objectively, after okay, no reason for sorry. We are just analyzing. But objectively, after Queen G6, probably Black is okay. So for example, this, this. If Knight C7, Rook C8, and if Knight goes somewhere, Bishop G2 is coming, which looks like unpleasant for White, for example. If this this knight f4, queen f3 is possible. G4 and f3 in which moment? Here g ah, here g4. Interesting. So why not? Uh, black uh, took twice on d4 and after bishop b2, what was queen c5, e5? Mm, g4 is interesting and very principal. I like g4. Bishop g4, rook g1, and then f3 is coming. Of course, this is very unclear, but, but f5. If knight takes f5, black can even consider this as idea knight f4. So if uh, f3 maybe takes takes queen f6, something like this. With attack to rooks. How you can study? Okay, what else? Maybe h3 is possible as well. Knight e5, there is proposition. If h3. A four also possible, right? You are right. Probably queen f6, uh, f takes e5, queen h4 is ideal, black. But it looks like after king d1. Yes, so probably I takes d4, it's not so stupid idea. If queen g6, g4. Why not? Queen takes e4 after h6. Uh, no, queen takes e4 is not possible. Mm, 
maybe also quid e5 is possible. And my idea if white plays f4, I can take twice, and now after bishop b2, I have queen e3. This is my idea. It looks fine for black. But maybe knight b5 now it's stronger. Because white has. White has threat f4, for example, if bishop h3, f4 winning the piece. If queen c5, bishop h3. Ah, not winning. It's, uh, it's Knight takes c7, bishop g2, however. What is this? After knight b5, knight f6, knight f6, knight takes c7. Let us pawn up at the moment. So g3 is interesting. Okay, but uh, d5 is possible as well. It's totally what I am thinking about this position. You can play both position. Probably knight a5, black can play. So g3. So at the moment, black cannot take on c2 because uh, after knight g1, two knights are attacked, so black is losing material. So black should play something else, probably b6. To prepare knight b7, knight c5. Okay, so which line they will play? It's choice of participants. It's not my choice. I am just annotator now. If Kramnik helps to uh, Jan, okay. Uh, first of all, I. I hear about this first time, okay, what I'm thinking, okay, boss, why not? It's not so big surprise. A complicated position, bishop e3 probably, and then knight d2. Head coach. Okay, maybe I am not ready to comment because I have no concrete information. Probably this is true, probably not. Okay, so queen f6 was alternative, f5 was alternative, but knight b8, knight a6, uh, let's continue. Okay, but g3 is not so stupid as we see. Maybe knight f4 even is possible. Maybe g6. Complicated position. Okay, uh, was question about knight b8. Uh, so, 
knight b8 instead of knight a5. Well, it's also possible, probably white will play. No, uh, now white to move, so black would be happy to play knight f4, I agree, but white to move. Okay, g3 anyway. With knight a6, bishop e3. You prepare knight d2, and then knight c5 can be changed with knight b3. Play complicated game. Both has about uh, which topic about about Kramnik. Okay, but I have no information what I can comment. So if there is uh, any co uh, concrete question, so I can answer, but uh, just guess if somebody is true or not. Okay, knight f4 was played in the game, so castle, queen f6, looks like normal move, not necessary, but totally normal. English again, maybe, totally possible, but not necessary. So queen f6. Rook f1, rook e8, bishop d3. And now bishop G, okay bishop g4 normal move and after knight d2 black has choice so white has no special threat so at the moment at least or at least I don't see special threat for black so totally possible to consider something like this just consolidate uh, pieces. If white will play c5 or e5, rook will be useful. So it's some kind of uh, okay. 92 is also possible, like a natural move, but it depends what white wants. So if uh, black will consolidate pieces, black. Would be even better somehow. So for, for white, it's necessary to prepare c5 or, or e5 at some moment. Knight d2 is possible, but after knight d2, probably bishop b7. So plan for black is b6, uh, rook a d8, knight a5, something like this. Or rook e7, rook uh, e8. Okay, bishop d3, uh, somewhere black uh, should calculate e5, d takes e5, bishop takes h7. Somewhere it is good, somewhere it's not so good. It depends on concrete position. Of course black uh, can play h6 and forget about this, totally possible. Also prepare g5 probably, but okay, it's, it's not development of pieces. Probably white has uh, some active possibilities. I don't know which one. Probably even this is possible to consider somehow. It's a big question how strong it is. Even e takes d4 may be possible. Because after bishop h7 check king f8, there are no special threats. And after bishop takes c6, queen takes c6 and also... I don't see clear refutation. Okay, probably white has some compensation here, but it's not so clear how to continue. For example, uh, if uh, rook takes, firstly, it can be more easy. So 
24 has come and some count the 28 but so many alternatives h3 or b1 oh yes okay but after rook b1 it's big question what to play after b6 and what is doing rook here Okay, there are some tactics, c5, d takes c5, bishop b5, but uh, again, it's a big question how strong it is. For example, black can just respond bishop d7, and what is achievement of white? e5 probably, however, it's... and then d5 is coming. But okay, what is this? For example, queen g6 takes, takes, d5, knight b, uh, sorry, queen g6 takes, takes, d5, knight b8. White has compensation, certainly. Bishop d3, okay, maybe there is some idea. Okay, bishop b5, but also black can consider bishop g4, probably. I don't know. Bishop g4, queen a4, maybe. But what is this? For example, takes, takes, a6. Bishop takes c6, b5 is possible. Okay. Ah, yes, I, I have seen a report of Dubu. Okay, so rook b1 is recommendation. Okay, maybe black can just play h6 and wait what what will be. Yes, rook ad1 was possible, yes. Okay, but after rook ad1, also not clear what white wants if black just play h6. Queen g6 is possible, but if just h6, of course, c5, d takes c5, e5, it can be considered, but uh, it is question how strong it is. Of course, even e6 is necessary to consider quite spicy position. Yes, I remember recommendation of Dubu, so rook a d1, if queen g6, queen c1, after rook takes e4, queen b1. Okay. But queen g6 is, maybe also bishop g4 is quite logical move. Okay, but now white can play knight d2, try to trade bishops. Queen e4 after queen e7. Ah, you mean queen e4. Yes, also interesting. Ah, to prepare bishop d3. Yes, looks nice. Queen g6, queen a4 falls. What is this? But what is the idea if rook takes e4? If you mean this position, of course. D5 probably. Queen 
Queen e7, Queen e4, f5 is possible, but White can just take on f4 is a good position. Has center is very strong. Yes, rook ad1 is totally normal move, so because of this, I'm not totally sure about queen f6, probably black. Play rook e8 is normal move. But after rook e8, rook ad1 also. Idea to prepare e5. So white needs to play c5 or e5 somewhere, so. But okay, he played bishop d3, so many. Other ideas was in this position. Bishop h3. And if bishop f1, bishop g4 simply. Yes, yes, it's good. Yes, queen c1 is more logical. Okay, so maybe bishop g4 is the best. After knight d2, just uh, I can just take and play rook e7, for example. Why not? Hero and Slava. Okay, so many alternatives uh, was in this position. Dean played bishop d3, bishop g4, knight d2. Okay, so rook a d8, totally normal move. Knight a5, I don't like, frankly speaking, because knight can be useful in the center if white is pushing e5 or c5 and also after knight a5 uh, white has this possibility to try to improve pawn structure although maybe queen g5 is possible because this i think is acceptable for white this exchange okay i am not sure this advantage but if f3, I can play g3 and then rook e3, and I hope f3 it will be weakness. So mating threats uh, are not so serious because white has always bishop f1. After queen g5, also white can take. I hope bishop f3 it's. Not so strong, but but maybe it's strong. I don't know. Maybe bishop f3 can be considered. Also takes takes h4 bishop queen g4. Probably it's really dangerous for white suddenly. Okay, I can start with h4. So queen takes h4 and f3 it's hardly realistic so queen h5 looks like correct move now i can take and after takes i can play rook b1 and after b6 e5 yes. looks like promising for white because if d takes e5 rook b5 is coming or rook b5 immediately and then e5 e5 looks like stronger so knight b3 looks like promising idea for white in this position at least for me of course white can play firstly h3 or f3 and then knight b3 but i'm not sure that this is really useful for white to have f3 or h3 but if uh, white has some why not queen takes h4 okay queen takes h4 is possible but uh, it's question if uh, this attack is really enough so i will take rook e6 is your plan or what if rook e6 f3 simply i can play 
now bishop is attacked this beef should takes f3 queen f2 black spits down and without serious attack не проходить жертва фігури таке враження but ok Розглядати такі можливості потрібно і навіть корисно. От сьогодні я аналізував свою партію з Мурадли, і там ще, ще є неясні моменти. I'm explaining that F3, where F3. Ok, now knight takes A5, and it looks like Ah, maybe black can play f3. Maybe. If g3 queen h5 is idea rook e6, rook h6. Maybe it's possible. Because rook e6 is very unpleasant threat. And for example, if rook e3, rook e6, if g takes f3, so white uh, wants to play this. And this looks like acceptable for white. Also, probably knight b3 is possible, intermediate move. But uh, after g takes f3, I afraid that bishop h3 is very strong and white is undermating attack. So probably queen takes h4. Yes, probably queen takes h4 is strong. Ah, interesting idea. Uh, ah, in my game against Muradli, uh, uh, I have another interesting idea. Okay, I will come back to this position. So, my game against Muradli was this opening. Play queen c2. Queen c2 idea to avoid knight bd7. Okay, not avoid, but uh, here after knight bd7, black can take with knight. But after queen c2, knight bd7, which my opponent played, uh, now take with knight, it's hardly good because. Uh, after takes takes bishop takes c7 white is pawn up and compensation is not enough for example bishop before king d1 and a3 is coming so he took on here e3 c6 bishop d3 Rook e8, h3, knight f8. Now I explained it that bishop h2 probably the most precise move for white. But I played castle. Knight g6, bishop h2, bishop d6, takes, takes, rook b1, a5. I played rook fc1, it's a little bit strange move. Probably stronger was a3 or rook fe1. Okay, g4 is possible, but it's another type of position. So I played this, I played this, and now knight g6 was totally normal move, but uh, my opponent impressed me with queen d7, so and he took it. Today I explained it that uh, queen d1 Okay, uh, alternative is uh, bishop f1, but now queen takes h4. Idea that after knight f3, queen g4 check, and then bishop f5 uh, coming, uh, black will take on b1 with uh, good position. 
if uh, white plays uh, bishop g2, bishop h3 is coming and uh, black has quite dangerous attack. But new idea, so uh, this new idea, uh, I showed rook takes e3 today. And now bishop f1 only move because take rook is bad because queen g3 check. So bishop f1 is correct and now this, this, this check, idea queen h6 check after king h1. So it's, it's perpetual check. So and interesting after king f1 looks like white is totally winning because if knight g4 queen e2 white wins or after bishop f5 queen f3 this is also winning line for white because four pawns are not enough compensation for the rook but according to computers surprisingly After b6, very strong move. Position is equal. White cannot play for win, according to computers. White should accept draw. Because if white is not making draw, they will be wolves. The easiest way to have draw for white in this position is bishop f3. And now bishop h3 check, bishop g2, bishop c8 back. Knight g4 doesn't work because queen e2. If knight h2, king e1, queen g1, just bishop f1. Black has no sufficient attack. But okay, a uh, new idea which I discovered after, uh, it was that black uh, can also play surprisingly uh, knight g4. It's also interesting option. So position is very tricky. And now if knight f3, rook takes a3, it's extremely unpleasant for white. So this is problem. And after knight f1, so before I... Uh, I thought that uh, knight f1, so I even demonstrated line in my video about uh, game against Murad Lee that now white is just winning because after rook e6 bishop f5 is coming and, and go on. For example, if rook f6, uh, queen takes g4, rook g6, queen takes g6, it's white wins. But uh, the problem uh, after bishop f5, black has queen takes h4. And things are very unclear. Because now queen takes g4, rook g6. This position is interesting. And black has a serious attack. Rook f8 is coming, queen g4, h5. Knight takes d5, not possible because queen g5 check. So my computer gives like main line here rook c2 for white. Because uh, here it's okay for, for black. If bishop g4, rook g6 or rook h6 probably. Rook g6 looks more simple. So according to my computer, uh, after queen takes h4, Ah, sorry, white should... Uh, bishop f5, not the strongest move, first of all. So 
so idea with queen takes f2 and now at least black has draw after queen h4 check so according to my computer rook c2 is the best line here for black because if knight e2 something with rook f6 was problem for white so rook c2 is the best according to computer rook h6 knight e2 rook takes h4 knight g3 knight h2 positions equal according to computer very complicated variation always they give zero 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 but okay so it's just illustration that such attack with uh, peace sacrifice can be serious and not so easy to refute it even with helping of computer okay but let's come back so we are here No, it wasn't Reykjavik, it was uh, European uh, individual championship in Serbia. Ah, so uh, after knight b3, queen g5. Okay, so probably queen g5 is problem for white, which is not so easy. But okay, I can try for example this. If bishop f3, g3. If takes rook b1, what is this? Again, my idea is rook b5 and b7 is attack. After queen h5, I want to take on b7. Okay, probably it is very dangerous, however. Because rook e6 is coming and queen takes h2 is already threat. So. So probably this idea doesn't work. Ой, не знаю, чому Магнус відмовився. Тяжко мені сказати. Можливо, його щось не влаштовувало в тому, як саме Фіде хотіло організувати матч. Не знаю, якісь умови Фіде не влаштовували. Але я так с уверенностью сказать не могу. So it was question why Magnus refused to play. I don't know exactly what to answer. So probably some condition of FIDE was not acceptable for him. So probably, yes, probably Queen G5 was uh, the point why uh, Dirk Liren refused to play Knight B3. Very likely. Okay, so he played c5, d takes c5, e5, d5, no. Why has strong compensation? Totally possible that uh, to play World Championship match is quite stressful, so here. Doesn't want it, he, he wants just enjoy it to play with chess in tournament which are strong but less stressful for him. But I don't know, it's so C4. Black has many ideas. How to play b6 played Jan Nepomish. Obviously, white has compensation, strong center. Knight on a5 is a little bit out of play. If rook d8 is not, not so clear, for example. Rook e7 is it's possible alternative. Or b6 also possible. So, so I'm not sure that rook a d8 is, is the best. 
That's quite a good question. Or it is F. Yes, so I totally agree that black has alternatives. C6 is possible, but after C6, D6. It's always a question. Maybe it's not so strong, maybe somewhere. Yeah, so I agree, black has choice, but, but, but maybe after B6, Bishop E4 anyway, so D6 is threat. So probably Rook A D8 will be necessary anyway, but um, but also I'm not sure. Maybe even C6 is possible to play after D6. Uh, some move for like G6. Idea to protect against Bishop takes H7. So it's complicated position. So many moves are possible. So I agree that um, Rook A D8. Yes, rook e7, yes, it's possible. Rook e7, but okay, also necessary to think what white can do here. Not so obvious question. Okay, maybe just f3, rook e2, rook a e1, something like this. Rook is at f3, bishop d7, rook e2. Okay. Maybe something like this. And still, white has good compensation. Queen h5 also it's possible. Yes, well, many questions, but what white will do? Yeah. Like that after. Or even bishop f5 is possible. Okay, black, uh, white has initiative, white has compensations, but it's difficult to be sure who is uh, better here. Okay, so rook a d8 was played anyway. c4, b6, h3, bishop h5. Of course, uh, Bishop c8 was also possible, but probably after bishop c8, white uh, wants to play knight f3 and improve the h center. So bishop h5 is against knight f3. Bishop e4. Okay, rook queen c3 looks like also a logical option. Defend the pawn and prepare knight e4 probably. Question. Probably also white has plan bishop c2, bishop a4. So queen c3 looks like interesting plan, but he played bishop e4, rook e7, queen c3, rook d8, bishop f3. So important uh, for white uh, to protect uh, his pawn e5. Knight f3 looks like logical, but after knight f3, I afraid that black can simply play g6. And uh, queen g7 is coming. <laughs> bishop c2 instead of uh, bishop c2, yes, it's possible, but. Uh, but what if uh, queen g5? 
is bishop a4 c6 d takes c6 like this maybe c6 pawn is very dangerous for example this is just losing for, for black because c7 nobody can stop the pawn or oh. oh, if rook takes e5 c7 okay bishop c2 first move before okay not today maybe next time i played before several times but okay it's, it's not topic for today so bishop c2 how to play very logical move for sure Important that if g5, white has idea to play bishop a4, and then if rook uh, knight e4, knight f6, so black cannot improve himself with king slung. Yes, I like bishop c2. Ah, but maybe f3 is possible. But okay, bishop a4. What's this? If queen g5, simply g3 is coming. Queen f5, king h2. F3, G3. G3, I'm not so sure, but maybe also possible. Bishop A4 is coming. Then is a coin in Bolivar. Все равно, кто переможе. Просто спокійно дивлюся партії. So, I am not supporter of anybody in this match. I am just looking the games. Yes, g3. If, if bishop g6, uh, bishop a4 is possible. If queen takes h3, knight takes f3. Or even queen takes f3 is possible. Okay, knight takes f3. Is... Yes, I agree that bishop c2 was... Quite logical option. Probably white is even better here. But he played bishop f3. So he wants to exchange bishops and transfer knight to f3. This is his plan. And after knight b7, totally possible was to continue this plan. After queen h3, we meant here. Well, here. It's time to take on f3 and then to see. Ah, bishop g6, bishop takes g6. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, here. Hmm, yes, it's also possible. 
Yes, I agree. It looks like very promising for life. So probably in this period uh, he started. So knight a5. It's I'm not sure it's uh, the best. But now probably rook a d8 not the best. Now certainly white has more than enough compensation. Always uh, rook a d8 is the problem that, uh, for example, in uh, this structure, uh, or oh, this structure, black uh, could try transfer his knight via d8 into e6. Okay, but uh, it's a big question how strong it is, but uh, at least black has idea to utilize the square for his knight. So rook a d8 probably not the best. So we are here. Uh, b6 before knight a5. Uh, if it works tactically, why not? So you need to calculate c5. If b takes c5, bishop b5. It looks like extremely unpleasant. But uh, after c5, you take you can take with another pawn, and probably it's totally playable because now knight is protected by queen. Also, b6, uh, e5 is possible, and bishop takes h7. But question: How strong it is? Black can simply take rook a d8. Probably e takes d4 is possible as well. Yes, b6 is a reasonable move, quite flexible move, but uh, but also logical to play rook a d8, uh, just develop it move, or, or, or even h6 to wait rook a b1, and only after rook a b1 to play b6. But okay, b6 maybe. At least nothing wrong with b6. Ah, but probably now white can play queen a4. Not a big achievement after bishop d7. My idea was knight a5, knight b3, improve pawn structure somehow. But uh, probably bishop d7 is strong. Yes, I agree that b6 was a very interesting alternative, that knight a5 it's, it's probably dubious move at all. And c5 is the most energetic way to realize this, but... Of course, it's possible to check something like this, if d6, f6, also not so clear what is this. But okay, it's dangerous, why it can take on f6, if queen takes, bishop takes h7, so it's, uh, such play require good cal Oh, black can just play b6 to prepare f6. But okay, it's very complicated. So somewhere possible plan knight b7, rook d7, knight d8, knight e6 as well. But okay, of course, if allow to black do everything what they want, it will be good for, for black. But uh, objectively, objectively, okay, white has very strong compensation, but... Uh, Difficult to say definitely what is the best. If, for example, queen c3, now f6 is possible. Okay, probably there is time to play f3 or h3 and to see where bishop will go. Okay, 
Okay, so let's come back to the game. So bishop f3 he played. Probably bishop g6 was a reasonable idea for black. Not exchange bishops. But uh, from other point of view, can be problem with uh, queen. With bishop g4, for example. Or bishop d1 with idea bishop a4. b6 h3 let's see b6 h3 yes and after bishop d7 but it goes c5 okay but c5 d b takes ah c5 now black can even take with this pawn But uh, also, okay, after bishop d7, probably more logical to play knight f3 somehow. But even this is very far from convincing. But for example, if g5, white has idea e5 takes and then bishop e4, something like this. But uh, after knight f3, black can start with h6. Okay, I'm not so sure. Ah, okay, so I remember candidate as much Kasparov Korchnoi. Kasparov won in game six and equalized the score, but it wasn't world championship match. Other examples game six. Kasparov was for Kasparov was a very important game of sixteen. Game six tie. Okay, maybe. So, but uh, I don't think that. Okay, maybe we will see soon who will win the match. In this match, we will. In this month, we will have a winner. Two bishops against two knights. Okay, for sure not today. Okay, so we are here. Many. So bishop g6 was possible, but Nipomne, uh, she played knight b7, rook e2. Also now bishop g6 was possible to avoid exchange, but uh, it's question how strong it is after rook a e1. In some moment b6 can be unpleasant threat. So f6, e6, and here was last moment to play bishop e6, g6, try to play with bishops. Nine. Ah, not last moment, also here was possible to play bishop g6. I don't know how strong it is, however, probably white could play bishop e4, but after bishop a e4, black can try to provoke draw. So probably bishop g4 is an option. Bishop takes h5 and knight f3. Uh, here, bishop takes h5. Mm, yes, but uh, I'm not sure about why knight f3, why not rook a e1. Yes, more flexible. Knight can go to e4 probably. Okay, your question is logical, but what can I say? So, during the game, uh, you have a big choice, and you, you cannot play all moves in the same time. So, you didn't play rook a e1, which seems like totally logical. So 
he defended e6 pawn to, to do not worry about c6 in some moments why not knight f5 knight f5 yes yes so knight on d6 is strong piece and it was better not to touch them but anyway it's not easy to play for black so he played knight f5 so, but uh, it's important that uh, black rooks are not playing yet bishop g4 yes bishop g4 it's possible totally agree this is very logical move but he took probably bishop g4 was even better than and rook e4 queen h6 queen f6 and now obviously black should play g5 there there are no other possibilities but probably Jan started to calculate something like this this kind of end game yes so knight takes f3 rook takes f3 something like this and decides that black is okay because uh, plan of black is king f8 rook c7 and c4 so probably it was more or less his idea and uh, he continued to calculate uh, it uh, and uh, he just forgot to consider other possibilities from his opponent. So knight d4 is obvious blunder. So after g5 position is totally unclear for me. So very difficult to say. A according to Dubo, Okay, he missed it. rook takes d4 to consider. Okay, g4, knight d6, yes. g4, knight d6, uh, double uh, king g2 proposed. But queen g6, okay, something like this. So knight takes e4 is not threat. Because uh, knight easily can be more useful piece than rook. But okay, so it's a complicated game and every result still was possible after correct move g5. Okay, I'm not sure that g4 is the best probably for white is more reasonable to prepare g3 for example immediately g3 is not good because takes takes and g4 but uh, may be possible to play king h2 to prepare g3 but okay it's very complicated position for example queen g6 g3 idea force black to take and then Try to utilize f line and weakness of f6 pawn. Okay, but knight d6, for example, what is this? It's very far from clear. Rook e2, for example, f5. Or not rook e2, maybe rook f1, f5, rook e5, and rook f8. So, so in practical game, each result would be possible. After correct move g5 and it was after king h2 knight h4 as it's possible but how strong it is white just will go somewhere with king for example queen d3 what is doing knight on h4 I don't believe that g4 can be strong in some moment because obviously I will not take so after g4 I will do something else 
what exactly you can ask me maybe even d6 is possible So I'm not sure that this is the best for white. Just complicated position. Oh, also, white can play queen d1, not allow g4 at all. Knight g2 and queen takes h3. But okay, how strong it is. Maybe strong and g, uh, and g3. If f3, I have queen g3 or queen h2, so g3. But um, maybe you are right. But um, what is your idea after knight f1? Rook G7. Ah, but after Rook G7, I can just play F3 and uh, attack is stop it. So maybe take first and Rook G7. G4 Knight, G2 Knight H2, yes. But maybe take first. F3 Queen R, F3 is possible. If Queen takes G3, Rook G7. My mistake, yes. Yes, now black is probably winning. Yes, looks like winning. Okay, so but if I just take what is this? Rook G7. If Queen takes G3, King F1. I'm ready to king e2 and go to another wing. Rook g7. Yes, maybe it's just perpetual check after knight f1. Rook takes g3. Knight g3, queen takes g3 check. Oh, black wins. Maybe black is winning here. Okay, so probably after knight h4, uh, queen d1 is the most logical just to. Ah, but now g4 is also possible. This idea queen takes g4, rook g7, but uh, maybe it's strong. Because after queen takes, oh, okay, but not so clear. Queen takes f4. If this, 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 white has good compensation. Yes, queen d1, g4, so I can take it probably. And take on f4. So g4 probably not so strong. And in next move I prepare it to play g3. Okay, but it's very complicated game, so I think uh, if uh, Jan would play g5, uh, all results of this game of this game was possible so probably if i have choice uh, i would uh, i would prefer to play with black i think uh, with black is more easy to play
So to do something in King of Slam, Rook G7, to jump with Knight for White, White has bigger choice to prepare G3 or play G4 or to play something else. So just King D3 or Queen A3 also. Probably a reasonable move idea to provoke a5. I don't know if a5 is only move, but after a5, somewhere if uh, white will push d6, uh, uh, b6 pawn can be weak. So also this is possible. And now, for example, queen c3 and just wait what black will do. So if queen g6, white can consider g3 now. It's a very complex position, but uh... okay. Position is closed. That black has a good square d6 for knight, some uh, resources at king's flood. So, in practical game, I think uh, more easy to play with black, in my opinion, but. Uh... But objectively, probably about equal in this position. But I'm not totally sure. It's very complicated. But in the game, okay, knight d4, he blundered it, and the game was immediately over because black has just no place. So black has no good pieces. So only uh, a good uh, for black was knight together with queen. And together with pawns in uh, King's Slam. But without knight, uh, all pieces are bad, and uh, black has no chances anymore. So white is just winning. So only, only move, uh, just one move, and game is over. C5 is losing immediately because d6, and now everything is winning. Lucky pawn, even this the quickest way. After g5, knight d4, queen g6. Knight c6 was strong, but g4 it's a smart move. White is fighting for f5, but of course it's not difficult to find this move. So white is just winning and Queen d5 here. Okay. Queen d5 is very nice, but made in two also is good idea. Yes. So game is over. So d6. White has decisive advantage because pawn e7 is very strong. Black forces are totally paralyzed. Rook d8 is coming. The rest is not yet resolved. Okay, so I expressed my opinion. Any questions? Okay, thanks for your attention. So for today, I will not do in any work with all this decisive game. But okay, uh, there is one more. Ah, so. Next two games uh, were decisive too. I will co comment them. King march to a6 or c6. What is this? Instead of e7. What do you mean? I don't understand. Where king march to a6. Okay, so I uh, just want to say thank you to participants for an interesting play, for fighting spirit, which they have demonstrated. And 
for me is real pleasure to analyze such a case. Goodbye.